Talking remarks there by the Gujarat Chief Minister, were they uh, poorly phrased remarks uh, or were they remarks which a lot of people have a genuine reason to feel were despicable, should have been avoided and remarks for which he perhaps needs to apologize. Joining us to discuss this, Shoma Chaudhary, Managing Editor of Tehelka with me, Sanjay Jha, Spokesperson of the Congress, Meenakshi Lekhi, Spokesperson of the BJP will join me in a few moments, Mukul Sinha, Lawyer and Member of the Jan Sangharsh Manch. Devesh Thakur, leader of the JDU, and Preeti Gandhi, member of the BJP's communication cell. Preeti Gandhi, let me come to you first. If you look at the remarks, it doesn't matter what language, because they were said in Hindi, but even if you look at, if you consider the remarks in Hindi and the translation in English, it seems quite shocking. Why would he want to draw an analogy like that at all? He's asked about 2002, right, if he regrets what happened, and then he goes and he says, and let me quote this once again, if we were driving a car or someone else is driving a car and we are sitting behind, even then if a puppy comes under the wheel, will it be painful or not? Of course it is. If I am chief minister or not, I am a human being. That being the case, why would he need to make an analogy as crass as that? Good evening. First of all, uh, it's very sad uh, today for, for everyone, you know, it's not just the Muslims or the Hindus that the Congress has chosen to pick up just one word from an interview that uh, contains words like uh, inclusive growth, development and nationalism. They pick up a cherry pick a word, uh, puppy and completely change the interpretation to something else altogether. It's very wrong that this uh, issue has been blown out of proportion and uh, people are being misguided. No, uh, let me bring Sanjay Jha over here. People are being misguided. Sanjay is what Preeti has to say. If you look at what he says, the tone and tenure, uh, tenor in which Narendra Modi makes those remarks, is, uh, are we, is the Congress party sort of looking too deeply into something which doesn't exist? It was perhaps a poor turn of phrase, but his message is that he's a human being. If something bad happens, then he's worried about any loss of life. I mean, that could be one interpretation as well. Sanjay? Uh, Vishnu, Vishnu, with due respects to the BJP spokesperson, whoever that is, I mean, the Congress did not put a gun on Mr. Modi's head and make him utter these preposterous, absurd and outrageous statements. Let me just repeat it for the benefit of uh, the, the spokesperson of the BJP there, that this statement by Mr. Modi, the one where he calls uh, the callous uh, crushing of a dog, uh, 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 this is how he actually draws an analogy and this is something we have been talking about since afternoon, is regrettable, I think it's repugnant. Uh, let me tell you, Mr. Modi is a trained, media-trained BJP politician. The BJP has always been very organized in this communication. If anybody is at the moment going to give him the benefit of doubt of having said that in some other context, believe me, I think we are going to make a criminal error, cardinal sin. Mr. Modi knows exactly what he's saying. When he emphasized Vishnu that he's a Hindu and he's a nationalist, he's sending out a message. Now, why are we forgetting that he's the same man who actually in the reports where he, he's supposed to have said, the Hindus should wake up, should now wake up after the Gujarat 2002, uh, the Godra incident. So, you know, here is a person who's today giving himself a clean chit. He, he said somewhere no, in that interview, SIT, and I read that, I'll come to that, that, that the SIT has... One minute, uh, Sanjay, I'll come to that part. Yeah, no, we're one discussing minute, all the points. Sanjay, okay. we'll discuss all of these points. I okay, so let me but tell you, let yes, me tell you about that this he has comment. scant respect. He has scant respect for, I think, uh, what happened in Gujarat. You cannot make the statement. He knows that everything he says to the media is right. going to be... Preeti, I think the central message made, that Sanjay is trying to say colleges. is that he knows exactly he what, knows he is what he is saying. saying. The, the yeah. brand Modi, the PR strategy of Narendra Modi and the message that he is trying to, say out, to send out is decided, it is cultivated and then it is said. So therefore it was no, deliberate this is these being remarks. cultivated by the Congress to feed their agenda of divisive politics. I want to be very clear on that. And it is not just once, it is continuously that they are doing this and slandering a particular community for their own vested interest.